hey, welcome to the new video about Mavic 3 Pro. So this is very capable drone, very interesting piece of gear, and it's best when you know it very well. So let's dive into some flight experience with sample footage. So I will be showing you original footage that is captured on the card. When I press record, you will hear a sound and then you will see it. A half of it will be color graded, a half will be left as it was filmed. So let's dive deep uh, in this video. So here we have 4K D-Log, 25 frames per second, adjusting exposure, because the base I saw is 400 for D-Log, very flat profile, similar to S-Log. And uh, the next test is 5.1K, it's cinema resolution kinda, so it's, it actually crops from top and the bottom to make possible the I mean the view is a little bit less it's actually not the more it's less in terms of viewing here are the log M mode base ISO is 100 it's better in my opinion in some ways and this is the results so the log M proves to be proved to be very good profile in my testing because you have on the 3X also D-Log M only available, no D-Log. And that's why it removes some hassle of color grading them together. Of course they perf perform a little bit different, but still it's the same profile by design. So it should look better together. And it actually is. But uh, the D-Log is a little bit different color I don't know, gamut maybe or something, uh, but in the end with the same grade you have a little bit different result. So here we can see 4K, 3X lens, looking good. The image isn't over processed, not over sharped. So they did a great job with it. 7X, the only normal color profile here, uh, 4K, 25 frames per second. All the lenses can shoot in 50 frames per second, so it's good. But I will show in the future that there is some a little bit difference in quality, maybe by compression of the image, bitrate stuff, but not like any other way different. So pretty usable. Most of like 99% of the people will never notice the difference. So let's take some pictures. This is 3X raw image all the photos are taken uh, four by three natively because the all the sensors are four by three aspect ratio actually so all the three cameras none of them is uh, three by two so the 7x image here you can see the here is the 1x also four by three in some cases, this is not so bad because, for example, for panoramic stitching or something like that, it could be helpful. Actually, in the end of the day, this is what we have. So, 5.1K again, different viewpoint. Um, D-Log M, supposed to be my favorite picture profile here on this drone. So this looks very nice and clean. ISO 100, so it's very nice that you can see, shoot in 100 because on, on the drone sensors it's very sensi sen sensitive. Here is 4K25, D-Log M. It's a little bit more different approach. This mode, as we discovered in previous video, is denoised in camera. So 5.1K isn't, and uh, you probably, if you will pixel peep, you will see the difference. And in some sen sensitive areas, you can see mo it more, but the 3X, 4K25. So just for example, we have 64% of the battery and it shows 26 minutes and 30 plus seconds. 
you can watch, just keep an eye on that, just to see how real is going. The video that you see now isn't like one take, so there is cuts, so the percentage will just drop if you watch it fully. But anyway, you will see at least what it shows on each per percentage and what it actually left with. So 7x. It's very good angles, interesting stuff. Unusual, but you know, normal picture profile. But I can say that on a 7x, they kind of work around a little bit with that normal mode. It's not that drastically bad because on other lenses the normal is like a crap, so... Here you can use it, so it's like optimistically thing, so you just a little bit adjustments and then it, you can match it somehow normal. So let's take some pictures more. This is 1x, just for comparison, so you can see the picture. Here is... Um, video, 4K25, D log M, just to see from different angles how it's looking. And 57% uh, battery, 23 minutes and 48 seconds left. Let's make some pictures again, different angle, 1x, adjusting shutter. So let's take a 3x picture. It's kind of sometimes you forget how close the 3x actually is in comparison with 1x. And that's good because the, it's giving much more mm, parallax and compression. This is the result. So 48 megapixels isn't a gimmick in this sensor, so it's good. 7x. For photos, it's like very usable. For social media, nobody will ever get understanding do you have like DSLR kind of photo in the sky or not. So let's go next. Situation of with the D-Log, just to test it, so 5.1K. D-Log 400 ISO, the base. So I adjusted f-stop to 3.5, just to look is it more sharp or not. Maybe I will make the whole video about f-stop, which is the best, more detailed f-stop for the Mavic 3. So and now we have D-Log M in test in this light, so 5.1K, just to be able, just to compare how they stack together. Here is uh, in movement, same settings, just to see maybe some compression differences while moving, because the, you barely you usually s film with the static thing, so with the drone in the video. So there is some drop uh, with the signal because I was like 40 meters and I'm 333 meters away. So in, sitting in a car, so it happens if you go low because there is lots of trees, buildings. And yes, let's go further. I'm just making altitude changes to regain the signal quality and uh, we have 48%, 47% battery, 18 minutes and 15 seconds. It's actually changing quite quickly, the, like it's now 17 minutes left, so it depends on your usability or on how you use the drone, so. Some signal drops, 56 meter height, pretty many uh, buildings and trees in front of me. I use RCN1 because I like to use my phone because the iPhone 14 Pro Max screen is much much better. So here is 3x example. 
4K25, D-Log M. It's only available, only log profile that you can shoot in on the free X, but it's quite good. Good balance between like quick and easy color rating and uh, log image flexibility. So. quite nice uh, parallax between different parts of the building even and the trees in front so that's the strong thing of 3x lens 40% left now let's take some 7x footage you can see it's colorful but not like overly colorful probably DJI worked well as they can, but they need to leave some upgrade for the next versions of the Mavic 3, some kind or Mavic 4. So that's why I leave it N not in flat color picture profile. But I actually think that it could be very well. But it looks fine, so you can color correct it to look it better. Cinema 4K, D-Log M, just to see the difference. It's not sunny, so it's kind of hard situation because it's flat and just the light isn't hitting so much, like 4K25 D-Log M, just to compare. And uh, there is plenty of details required to be saved in the trees and the greens, so it's very heavy for compression. So, and it's the, just for sake of comparison, there is 1080p D-Log M. Actually, I discovered that the 1080p, 1080 is looking very good. So it kind of downsamples. So for 1080, it's crazy good. And 4K50 D-Log M, just to see, is there any difference if you compare 50 frames with 25 frames? It's barely noticeable. There is like, let's compare cinema 4K50 frames per second. Is there any difference? I'm going through all modes just to be better understanding for you to make more decisions. 4K, I don't know, it shows me at 90% that we need to like, it soon will be going home. Six minutes left. 3X lens, 25 frames per second. And here I actually noticed that 25 frames is a little bit brighter and now you will see that like when I switch to 50 it's darker a little bit and actually it's kind of sharper for this like first view it's fun that there is such difference because the the shutter is so high that it shouldn't impact but it's anyway like the sensor thing I guess somehow differently work. 1080, 25 and 3x. Also, I guess it looked very nice for 1080. So it's safe, like flagship drones, as a flagship cameras like Sony a7S III, giving flagship 1080. I, in some cases, this could be very useful. So 50 frames per second, we've done that test. And now 50%, 15% of battery, 44 minutes and 46 seconds. I'm just going back to my position because the drone is beeping, return to home promptly. Warning is shown. 300 meters just, and you have three minutes. So more than 10% and four minutes on the left. But it's very changing quickly and a lot. And now let's finish here. So the battery performance is anyway very great on the drone. So thanks for watching. I hope this video was helpful for you. See you in the next one.